to college now. Liberty has the chance to make a significant mark on the college football landscape. 7-1, and one, ranked 23rd, and headed to an SEC venue to battle 5-3 and three Arkansas. 10 Sports' Eric Johnson has more on the Flames' momentum. There's no question that Liberty is the baddest team in the land now with some national recognition. But what does warrant the question is whether or not the Flames can use that number 23 ranking as motivation as opposed to a crutch for complacency. We're appreciative that, you know, we're getting recognized, but the work isn't done. You know, we got to fight every day. I've lived this life, you know, at Ole Miss, we were ranked a lot here, not so much. But when you do, it's pretty special. And so you celebrate that, but you also better be real and know that, man, it, you know, Arkansas is going to be favored this week, to, and they should be. What well, they've been ranked in the SEC in both rushing and in total yards, they're very balanced. The Razorbacks top one of the best offensive attacks the SEC has to offer, led by 1,000-yard rusher Raheem Sanders and quarterback K.J. Jefferson. It's like you're playing uh, an athletic Ben Roethlisberger almost, you know. I mean, uh, just the way he can uh, – you know, make plays last longer. He's not just a runner. I mean, he's a big dude and uh, and can throw it a country mile too. We're going to have to swarm the football. I think we've done a great job of that. And um, our coaches, they're going to get they're going to give us a great game plan, and we got to go out there and execute. As for the Flames' offense, Caden Salter will likely be out on Saturday, but we can't expect Charlie Brewer to give it a go as he did in that BYU game. If he's not ready, in steps Jonathan Bennett for that 4 p.m. kickoff on Saturday. In Lynchburg, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.